Republican candidates are also facing questions about South Carolina's official support of the Confederate flag. Critics say that the banner should be put away for good after the racist murders at Emanuel AME Church. Adriana Diaz is at the State House in Columbia, South Carolina, where the battle flag is where the battle flag is still flying at full staff. Adriana, good morning. Good morning. This isn't the first time the flag has sparked outrage. In 2000, protests led to a compromise. The flag was removed from the top of the Capitol Dome. A smaller version was placed here in front of the building at a Confederate memorial. But Wednesday's shooting has reopened old wounds. From Charleston Take it down. Take it down. to the State House steps in Columbia, anger over this square piece of cloth and all it represents. Saturday night, a Confederate memorial in Charleston was spray painted with the words Black Lives Matter. Elsewhere, people burned Confederate flags. It is a reminder and more so an insult to the very soul of African Americans. To many, like Dot Scott of the NAACP, the flag is a symbol of intolerance and white supremacy. We should not have to continue to be forced to somehow revere the flag. We feel for the families of the, and the relatives of those that passed away, but the, um, the flag didn't have anything to do with why that young man did what he did. But to others, like Randy Burbage of the Sons of Confederate Veterans, the flag represents the sacrifices thousands of South Carolinians made during the Civil War. And we want to remember those men. They're our family members. Their pictures on our walls. Their names are in our Bibles. They're part of us. Their DNA is in us. The flag is now an issue in the Republican presidential race. Former nominee Mitt Romney tweeted Saturday, take down the Confederate flag. To many, it's a symbol of racial hatred. Jeb Bush agreed, noting that while governor of Florida, he ordered the flag moved to a museum where it belongs. In this important primary state, others avoided an issue that's sensitive to political voters. My opinion is that we should let the people of South Carolina go through the process of making this decision. It works here. That's what the state house agreed to do. One state representative is ready to act. It's time. It's time to do my job. Republican Doug Brannon plans to introduce a bill to remove the Confederate flag from state property, which he acknowledges will likely cost him re-election. The switch that flipped was the death of my friend Senator Pinckney. I've been in the house five years. I should have filed that bill five years ago. Um, but the time is now. I can't let my friend, the senator's death, uh, go without fundamental change in South Carolina. Brandon says that he intends to introduce that bill as soon as he can, but the next legislative session won't start until January. Votes from two-thirds of state legislators are required to remove or even lower the flag. By the way, the flagpole has no pulleys to lower it. It remains at full staff after Wednesday's shooting. Thanks, Adriana.